Hello guys and welcome to The Creative Egg, your source for 3D shenanigans. And today I'm super excited to show you how to 3D scan using Adobe Substance Sampler and later on we are going to clean it up inside of Blender. First of all, let's prepare the sculpture for 3D scanning. Make sure your subject is clean and evenly lit. This will help achieve a more accurate scan. Secondly, use manual camera settings to maintain consistent exposure throughout the shoot. Here are a few points to keep in mind. Low ISO, higher shutter speed, and control the white balance. Next, move around the subject as shown and take overlapping photos. Cover all sides, aim for 30 to 50 photos for a detailed model. Now let's process these photos into a 3D model using Adobe Substance Sampler. Open up Substance Sampler. Create a new project. Click on the plus next to the 3D object. New 3D Capture. Browse your files. Select all your photos. Open and wait for Adobe to align your photos. Submit. Alignment settings. Keep it normal and default. And wait for the alignment. Now you can see a point cloud of our model. Over here, click on the I button to show the bonding box and adjust the bonding box as needed to ensure it captures the entire object. Once finished, click on Submit. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty good. Oh, wow. But if you are not satisfied with the result, keep playing with the target face count. For example, let me go for 75,000 and click process a new version. And don't worry about this kind of flip normal kind of thing. Once you add it to your project queue, it will clean up by itself. But I want to go with the 50,000 faces over here. You can always find your uh, older versions over here. Add to project. Name it. E-scan. Now I want to add roughness map and I will export it to Blender for cleaning up and retopology. And we're gonna bake the, uh, the textures as well. Let me add channel switch. I'm gonna go from base color to roughness. Again, add layer, invert, and put channel, roughness, add layer, last layer, uh, brightness and contrast. Let me play around. Too shiny. Okay. 
Oh, I'm playing with the base color. You need to change it to, to roughness. Oh yeah, do you see the certain details over here? That's all you need to get that extra push of realism later on on your renders. Let's export this model as an FBX, so we can use it on Blender. First of all, you want to go to the material, 2K. I only need the roughness. As an FBX, save your 3D scan on any file you'd like and click on export. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to save your file. Open up Blender. Let's import the three D scan. Go File, Import, Path DX, and search for your 3D scan. Let's add an HDRI. I'm using this HDRI from HDRI Heaven. The link will be in the description down below. There is something wrong with the shading. Go to the shader editor. Just click on the principal shader and press backspace on the principal shader to reset it. Move the roughness texture to the roughness. Now let's remove this surface by using the Boolean modifier. Add a cube, scale it up and rotate it, move it down a little bit, you know what, let's remove some of the geometry on the 3D scan. Then we would use the Boolean modifier and the cube. Go to the wireframe and select the unwanted geometry. Click on delete vertices. Let's delete even more vertices to get a cleaner cut. Now click on the 3D scan. Go to the modifier. Search for Boolean modifier. Use the eyedropper tool and select the cube. Check this out. This is perfect right now. Apply the Boolean modifier. And here we go. We have clean 3D scan. Now I'm going to start with uh, the retopology process. I'm going to skip through the retopology process because it's it will take forever and it's boring process. But I'm I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm going to make sure to link uh, a good tutorial for retopology down in the description below. See you in a bit.
Once you finish the retopology, here is my uh, retopologized uh, object. Duplicate it. And and don't move it. Don't move it to, from the top of your uh, 3D scan. Move it to a uh, a backup folder or backup collection. Okay, let let me hide the uh, one of the retopologized objects. Let's apply the modifiers, like the subdivision and the shrink wrap. I'm gonna make it a high poly mesh. For, for the sake of the baking process, go back, select your uh, scanned object. This is the scanned object. It has like a very dense topology. Go to render, switch to cycles. Under baking, where is baking, baking? Under bake. Select color or diffuse feather. Uncheck direct and indirect. Mm. Select it to active. Select selected select it to uh, uh, to active. <clears throat> Max distance. I found out for this model zero point three works good, but I've tried from one to zero point three. I get a lot of errors, but zero point three works just fine for me. We go back. So let's select the uh, scanned object, the, the high, let me, let me rename it to uh, Retopo High, which is this one, the one that has a lot of topology. Okay, like a lot of topology. Do it. They, uh, this is the retopologized object that I made. Then we applied the subdivision and the shrink wrap. Okay, select the scanned object then the retopo high by clicking control, left click, and click on bake. Oh wait, made a silly mistake over here. You need to add, uh, select the uh, retopo high, add a new, new material, shift A, image texture. Connect it to the base color. Click on new. Name it something. Uh, UVs. Whatever you want to call it, call it. Uh, I'll go with 2K. Then instead of instead of having it blank, I'm going to go with UV. You, you can go with whatever you want. Okay. We go to the why did I, it did it change? Again, new, keep it untitled, whatever, turns to, turns to, UV grid, new image. Okay, now you can see, this is the UV. I am wrapped there, the object of the retopology. Okay. Click on the image texture, Okay, make sure to, to click on the uh, image texture, yeah? Go to render, bake, same settings. Click on the scan first, let, let me call. Is it locally? Yeah, it's locally. And click on scan, control, left click, very topo high, and click on bake. And just wait for it. There we go. We have the texture over here. I think it looks really good. No, no mistakes. And make sure to save your baked image texture because it will be gone. Even if you add a, what do you call it? If you, even if you add a, a fake user to it, just go image, save as. Let me go desktop. Ch 
said. Sculpture color, okay. Go back here. Hide both of these objects that go to the low poly mesh, okay. Add a new control T or uh, you can press control T if you have uh, the non triangular add on or just add an image texture manually. Open. Check this out. You go to EV. And you can still subdivide it. Let's go for two on the Dormian time watch. Let's add. Come on now, Prime. To get the roughness going. Look at me. Change the stuff now. Once I connect it to the roughness, uh, not much changing or See the details over here. <clears throat> and I clip it, clip it, clip it. Let me apply subdivision of one. Oh, wait. I don't have that. Okay, now. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, that's it. You can you can now add, it, add this... Uh, low poly mesh to your game or your VFX or just drag it and animate it, bring it to life. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more 3D shenanigans.